Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric. So I thought today, because I had a, a question by one of you guys, and it's a really good question. It's an important question. And that is coil installation. Does how you mount it matter? Oh, stay tuned, and we'll talk about it. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric and we put out educational videos and one of the questions that was asked was does it matter which side upside or regular does it matter which way the coil mounts to where the flywheel sits and the answer is yes very much so you know like we say, not all coils are created the same, but there's a lot of the same going on with them. And for the most part, it, you'll see where your spark plug is on top. That's usually the top, all right? And on some of these, most of them is coming out now. It says this side out, and this one says cylinder side. So this side out, is what's going to face the top but your coil wire is still on top all right that's a dead giveaway so when you're mounting your coil you always want to mount it with this wire on top well if I mount it with this wire on top now my ground is down here right instead of being on top where I can plug it in easier doesn't matter this is still got to be up so that this fires correctly when it comes by the flywheel and you just have to take in a lot of times what we do is we put the ground wire on first and then mount the the coil and then use the business card to bring it up a tight against the magnets on the flywheel but it does matter because if you do put it upside down if you go by what the ground wire is because like on this one well, the ground wire is on top, and so isn't the spark plug thing. And that's the way it's going to mount. So your ground is going to come in from this way. On this one, you're going to have to come underneath at it. And when it comes to that ground wire, like on the Cup Cadet that we did yesterday's video on, now, they're changing how they run the system. See, it's always been that wherever the ground wire you had a ground wire coming here so when you turn the switch off it would ground the coil and lead to no spark shutting your engine down and what they've done now is like on that machine there that Kohler is they don't have a ground wire plugged in it's there but it's not on the unit and we were looking at it like where is the ground wire how come the ground wire isn't connected and what they've done now is they've done away from the ground wire and when you turn your key switch off your electric solenoid fuel solenoid will close and that will shut off the engine so a lot of the manufacturers are going away from that ground wire entirely so if you're looking at the newer ones it doesn't matter where that ground wire is because you don't use it anymore on the older ones yeah it does matter because you're going to have to use that to ground to the switch so, but if you did mount it upside down, you wouldn't get any spark at all, all right? She's not going to fire. So, when you look at this stuff, just look at where is the spark plug wire? Is it on top or on the bottom? Don't go by the ground wire because that is now showing up on some of them on the cylinder side, which is down. You want this facing the bottom of the cylinder this side out is the top where you slide in so i hope that's going to help a few of you guys that maybe put a coil on upside down you can't figure out why you're not getting good fire or the, the thing won't run with a new coil it's not the coil it's how it got put on so on that note you guys have a great day and we'll catch you on the next video thanks so much for watching